Chennai has always been a DMK citadel. Joining us is uh, the South Chennai candidate for the DMK. Uh, Ma'am, thank you so much for talking to us. Pleasure, uh, pleasure. How are you? Good, good, good. Going good. Meeting people every day. This is the ninth day of my campaign. So it's all going good. Uh, what is it that you're hearing from people as you uh, are aggressively campaigning across South Chennai? A rousing welcome, enthusiastic uh, smiles, cheerful slogans, all welcoming me as well as uh, uh, vociferous welcome for all the schemes of the Tamil Nadu government. That's what I could feel, especially with women, you know, like the way they come and approach me, the way they greet me and the way they um, voice out their cheer up slogans for the chief minister. It's all clean sweep victory and uh, mainly because of the Dravidian model achievements of the Tamil Nadu chief minister. Uh, this time, uh, one of the hotly contested seats, uh, people believe, is also South Chennai. Do you think it's a tri cornered contest this time? Yes, of course it is, as it is evident. But uh, I don't uh, see any difficulty for DMK party to have a heads down, I mean, uh, heads down win in this. The situation is very, very favorable for us because for the past um, three years, our schemes and the way Chief Minister has meticulously um, met the needs of the people, especially the marginalized people and carried out, catered to their needs, all these things, especially people are very angry about the way the union government has been um, and responsible uh, during the uh, flood situation. What are the issues that you're highlighting in your campaign? Because, you know, whenever it comes to South Chennai, one of the aspects is obviously when it rains, there are issues that people face. So what are the issues that you're highlighting during your campaign? That had been the situation quite recently till we faced this recent McJum cyclone. But you yourself must have witnessed that within four days, the city, two days, airports, within two days, the airports have been cleared except a few areas in Madipakam, the worst affected and Velacheri, four days everything has become normal. That is mainly because of the storm water drainage work which our government had actually carried on in a, as a war front. So that will permanently give a solution. Velacheri used to be called as Velacheri and this time you can see a visible difference. Uh you know, are you also reminding the people that you've not received funds from the central government while you're campaigning here? Yes, that is the major uh, USP of my campaign. Because BJP is f false propaganda is that they have given this much to Tamil Nadu and they have carried out so many things to Tamil Nadu. Simple question. We Tamilians, we give, when we give to you, you know, like... Uh, a lakh rupee or whatever it is, we are getting only by 20, I mean, written in written 29 rupees. Whereas a UP person gets 2 rupees something and a Bihari gets even 2 rupees something. So why is this, you know, like different attitude towards Tamilians? The second thing is we are the largest contributor to the economic growth of India. We are third. Next to Maharashtra, we are third. So we have every right to just ask, especially when we are in distress. When the Prime Minister, when Gujarat was hit with the cyclone, when he inspected it um, in a helicopter and willingly gave 1,000 crores to the then Chief Minister, why didn't, he de uh, why didn't he do that to our people? And when the election comes, he flies to Tamil Nadu quite often. The people know that. They, they, they know very well about the election gimmick of BJP. And this is what I am highlighting also. Prime Minister, during his frequent visits to Tamil Nadu, calls the DMK and your uh, alliance partner, the Congress, as dynast parties, mm -hmm. as corrupt parties. Your response to those statements from Prime Minister and the BJP? With all due respect to our Honourable Prime Minister, I would like to point out that when he points that one cliched uh, usage, one finger uh, towards us, three fingers or face towards BJP. Now, for example, who is uh, Honourable Minister Piyush Goel? His, his father was a minister, mother was a uh, member of the parliament, and who is um, Dharmendra Pratan? Father was, you know, like minister. Who is Honourable Minister Anurag Thakur? 
Himachal Pradesh CMs and I can list out, you know, like number even our uh, chief minister had already listed out. When you have so much, so many people in your party itself and the alliance party itself, you don't have, you know, like any right to point out that cliched argument. Well, I'd like to point out this one, fa one fact that throughout the world history, if you take only two leaders waited for a long time to come to the top position, even though they come from a political family. One is Raul Castro, Fidel Castro's brother. He waited for 42 years. And our chief minister, Talapati M.K. Stalin, waited for 46 years. Nothing was given in a platter and given to him. So these are all, even for me, I resigned my job in 2007. I got a ticket in 2019. So it is just parroting, you know, like all those cliched uh, um, sayings and then just trying to impress people with false who doesn't work with Tamil Nadu. Ma'am, who is your uh, competitor? Is it the ADMK or is it the BJP this time? I don't see any competitor. Uh, I don't see anybody who is competitive enough to, you know, like uh, give any threat or whatever it is. Our victory is very clear and I think uh, we will win with a clean sweep. Do you think BJP can make inroads this time? What is your assessment of the ground situation? No, I don't think so. BJP can never uh, uh, make even, uh, no, uh, not even, uh, I would say, inroads or whatever it is, not even a footprint. It can't be. This soil is entirely different. People are very well politically aware, they are sensible, they are sensitive also. They wouldn't forget, even people who have not attended for our good events, we may forgive them. But Tamil people will never forget and uh, forgive people who are not with us during the time of distress. So this flood relief was not given to us and no such major, you know, like schemes were given to Tamil Nadu. So Tamil peoples are really rationalist thinkers. So I don't think so and BJP can never make any sort of imprint in Tamil Nadu. My last question to you ma'am, what are your promises to the South Chennai people? Already I have fulfilled um, uh, a few of all the promises. The major thing is uh, when I contested I said the Perungudi dump yard would be cleared. When I got elected as an MP it was in 19, AI, ADMK government was in power for the next till 21 it was there and the union government also is BJP so with this you know like uh, hostile environment only I had to work but still I made it a point as soon as our chief minister assumed office the major thrust from my side is to clear the Berengudi, Berengudi dump yard which was one of the major important needs to be addressed and now you yourself can, can see 99% of it is cleared through bio mining that's one of the major thing and Velacheri Lake also, it was one of the promises that without disturbing the people who are living on the banks, we I told that it would be beautified and a sort of a little boating spot will be done. So we had submitted a proposal to the corporation also. It is also being vetted through. And this time, you know, like few of the concerns is this many a times have raised in parliament with regards to the toll gates especially the unwanted toll gates. I have spoken about it. I have represented the matter through letter to the Honorable Minister for uh, uh, Road and Transport, uh, Nitin Katkari. Some more than 26 uh, toll gates, as well as the hike in the toll fees. It will be brought down and all those unwanted, because this is a major menace. And my corridor has a long IT corridor, belongs to my constituency. The major plea is just to remove, to do away with. And as soon as DMK assumed power, Sholing and Nallur toll gate was removed. So this will be one of my thrust areas when we assume office next time. Thank you so much, ma'am. That was Dr. Tamarichi Tangapandian, the, the South Chennai candidate for the DMK who is aggressively campaigning across the constituency. With camera person Saravnan, this is Purnama Murli for CNN News 18.